I've created this GoFundMe account for the benefit of Long Pond in Lakeville and Freetown. If you are a resident or a boater or a nature enthusiast, please watch the rest of this video and please donate. Thank you. Hello, my name is James Sarsha. I'm a 20 year resident on Long Pond, both in Freetown and in Lakeville. Long Pond and its surrounding waterways are being taken over by an invasive aquatic plant life and other invasive species that threaten the quality of water to a point within the next 20 years, Long Pond and the Assawampsit Pond Complex will be dead and impassable. Most aquatic life will perish and the drinking supply for New Bedford and Taunton will diminish. Rivers and streams will dam and properties upstream will flood. The invasive species life is fueled by nutrients that are non-native such as lawn fertilizer from rain runoff, improper septic systems and silt infiltration from unpaved roads and the lack of storm drains. The death of this watershed is not speculation, it is scientific certainty. The purpose of this district is to protect and improve this vital resource. The district will be a specialized unit of government designed to manage the watershed area. One of the major differences between a lake district and a lake association is the district's ability to tax property within the district. Lake districts have a unique blend of powers and governance tailored to fit the needs of the local lake communities. A lake district is guided and operated by those that live in or own property within the district. A lake district's day-to-day -day operations are carried out by a board of commissioners composed of elected volunteers and local officials. The financial direction of the district is determined by district residents, electors, and property owners at an annual town meeting. Long Pond is also Massachusetts' largest recreational body of water. It supports businesses such as boating, fishing, gas stations, restaurants, water sports, liquor stores, vacation rentals, and more. Not having this resource would have a huge negative economic impact on Lakeville and Freetown, causing local businesses to suffer and property values to greatly decrease. Waterfront properties will no longer be able to be assessed as waterfront, costing the towns hundreds of thousands of dollars every year. Long Pond, through its tributaries, is the largest supplier of water to the Assawampsit Pond Complex, which is the water supply for over 150,000 residents of Taunton and New Bedford. These cities combined draw an average of 18 million gallons of water every day. Doing nothing to eradicate these invasive plants will surely cause the water supply to diminish, forcing those cities to turn to an already taxed MWRA for their water. This would cost the residents of those cities hundreds of millions of dollars. If you Google drowning by invasive weeds, you will see a page full of newspaper articles of men, women, and children that were caught up in these weeds and died by drowning. One of which was an accomplished swimmer that died in Woods Pond in Middleborough. It is only a matter of time until someone's child dies in Long Pond. The stress does not end there. There are algae blooms happening in the ponds more and more often. These blooms get their nourishment from the same sources as the invasive weed species. The impact of these weeds and the dollar amount is in the millions, and the ecological impact is the demise of many species of wildlife. It is only through a district creating a revenue stream, creating rules, and educating waterfront owners that we can make improvements to the water quality. Once a district is formed, the district will, number one, Tax all the properties within the district that have a benefit to the waterways a small annual tax. There are approximately 1,200 property owners, of which 411 waterfront, that have a benefit to Long Pond. If the waterfront owners are taxed, say, $150 per year, and deeded access owners, $75 per year, that's a revenue stream of $121,500 per year to the district. Once there's a revenue stream, the district committee will complete an impact study that will determine the proper courses of action. Major action points are A. 
create a five to 10 year plant to eradicate the invasive plants. Because Long Pond eventually feeds into a potable source, the treatment has to be done in segments. B, create a plan through engineering to redirect water runoff from dirt roads into proper catch basins and retention areas to limit or remove the silt and fertilizer infiltration. C, educate the public through the district's mandatory annual meetings on things they can and must do to protect the resource. D, the district will inherit the responsibility of the state boat ramp. By doing so, we can employ a person to collect the entrance fee and inspect boats prior to the entry for proper flushing to assure no further introduction of invasive species. The boat ramp would be attended seven days per week instead of the 2.5 days attended currently. Currently, there are two or three bass fishing tournaments per week on Long Pond. These boats have trolling motors that chop up the invasive plants, which creates hundreds of new plants every pass they make. This practice can be stopped by creating rules of no trolling through in weeded areas or be subject to a fine. Long Pond is well known for its shallow, rocky waters. These rocks claim hundreds of boat propellers, cause thousands in property damage, and have caused many personal injuries, and some of those injuries were very severe. The district would either properly mark the rocks or remove them to limit the problems. I have had at-length conversations and meetings with Freetown and Lakeville administration, planning and select boards, local and state conservation commissions, the Department of Environmental Protection, the Department of Fisheries and Wildlife, the Massachusetts Department of Lake Access, and our state representatives and have attended almost every meeting there was with regard to these issues. The buck gets passed every time. This problem has been presented to local boards of selectmen and state legislature since 1998. There have been many meetings and powerful suggestions as to how to resurrect, protect, and preserve these wonderful bodies of water. However, in 18 years, there has been zero progress because absolutely nothing has been done. The reason is always the same, no money. The only way to create the revenue needed is to create this lake district. To form a lake district, we have to have an attorney file the proper paperwork with both Lakeville and Freetown. There would have to be a special town meeting in both towns. Both towns would have to approve the lake district. Once it's approved by both towns, then we have to go in front of the state senate. Once the state senate approves the district, then it has to get a final approval from the governor. Forming a lake district is no simple task. I've started this GoFundMe account so that we have the money to pay for literature needed to educate Long Pond residents and to hire an attorney to get this job done. Please share this information with everyone you know that has a love for Long Pond and wants to see this valuable resource resurrected and protected. Thank you very much.